are holy, you are holy, you are holy. You are holy, you are faithful, you are worthy, you are mighty, you are great, you are awesome. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for everything you are doing. Thank you for raising us, Heavenly Father. Thank you for making us to be who we are today. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for giving us this glory that we have to shine, Heavenly Father, when we are living on this earth. We thank you for raising us as your children. Father, we thank you for the peace that surpasses all human understanding. We thank you for your hand that is reigning supreme upon our lives. Babariabarosha, Babariabahudisa, Yovariabako, Dabo Fanirwanga Rentiwa, Bofanaranga Kotiwa, Bofanonga Uruviwa, Dibone Babotem and Simwa Chiraho, Dibone Babotem and Simwara Goa Arehone, Dibone Babotem and Simwango by a prophet Zaya, Chilisi Chabon and Ishura Nayeso, Kundalabon and Lura Nayohofa, Bofanediwa Christo. Bofanedi wa mureli, bofanedi wa rehone, baba kama ambe na namusema ambe na machiru asho. Kama reranga panda barite sune pone bafunarche wa sone. Kama ambe narnenga mtinga mti yohofa, baba kama rishandu kiser fanele litatulu. Kama rishandu kiser we sune pone bafunarche wa sone. Kama rishandu kiser yeso kriso wana saretare tule kapone. Riyabarosha, riyabaruma, riyabakota, riyabawulisa. Father, we give you the praise. Father, we give you the glory. We worship you. We adore your faithful, mighty, holy name. We thank you for this peace that surpasses all understanding. We thank you for your hand that is upon our lives. We give you the praise, Jesus. We give you all the glory. Thank you, Spirit of the Most High God. Thank you for directing us and speaking with us. Thank you for helping us understand that you are God. Thank you for helping us understand that you are the King of glory. Thank you for helping us to understand that you are the Alpha and the Omega. Father, we are what we are and who we are because of the grace. Father, we are standing today. It is because of the grace. Father, we are able to Heavenly Father to speak. It is because of the grace, Lord. Thank you, Spirit of the Most High God. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Heavenly Father. We glorify your name. We magnify your mighty name, Jesus. We bless you as our God and our Father. Thank you, Spirit of the Lord. Thank you, Jehovah. We love you, Jesus. We love you. Blessed be unto the name of the Most High God. We glorify your name, Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Ha, kiliche, kilimu.
Oh, 
You are worthy, King of glory. We magnify your name, Jesus. We bless your name, O oh God. Blessed be unto the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Can I greet you once more again in the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Can you all the person that is next to you and tell that person welcome. Botanganezu. Na kwa mkela. Eka maliga chesu. Kululeka sisenti lingan kulunkulu. Awe ye ginda zabanya batu pe ginda wazako. Awe ye ginto zabanya batu pe ginto zako. Tukwe la dilo chaba chumaba umolebe la nilidi chaba chakao. Tuwela matata batuwa bangu libela nele matata au. Hallelujah. Can we clap our hands, we shout and we scream just to glorify the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Uche sulo. Uno bubelenga mimina. Uche sulo. Uno bubelenga. Uno bubele. Uche sulo. Uno bubelenga mimina. Uche sulo. Uno bubele. Uche sulo. Uno bubele.
Lord, he has blessed us with a baby girl. Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I've got two testimonies. On the 9th of February, I survived an accident. On the 9th of February, God saved me in a fatal accident. And then this last Thursday, On I, was Thursday I was appointed a permanent job. God blessed me with a permanent job. Amen. I'm coming from Deben. I'm from Deben, Magugu is my name. On the, on the 15th of January last month, I was here for one-on-one. -on -one. In January, I was here as a visitor to see the apostle in a one-on-one -on -one session. And the prophecy that I gave was 100% true. All the prophecies that he gave unto me, they were correct. One of the things, the prophecy, the one, one of the prophecies, he mentioned that there's a problem I have with some people. There's a daughter of mine that I last saw her when she was nine years. It has been 25 years now. I'm not in contact or I've seen her. But Mang Sugala, the very same day, airport, she was the one who is Olanda me. When I left this place, Number two, the when day I, that I left this place, when I landed in the airport, she was the one who came to pick me up. Number two, when, when, when I came here, my account was zero, zero because I was not working almost for two years. When I left this place, my bank account was zero, zero because I was unemployed for the whole two years. But after two weeks, Things changed. Money was dancing into my account. The third one, I was living in the place where I didn't want to live. So in three, in three weeks time, I'm changing a place. Now I'm renting a townhouse. Thank you. I long to thank God for this. Hallelujah. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus. I'm here to thank God for his greatness and his love. He has blessed us with a new car. Audi Q7. It's an Audi Q7. Amen. Hallelujah. Greetings in the name of Jesus. I'm here to thank God. He has blessed me with a permanent job, and this is the job that I went to school for. Hallelujah. Amen. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. Indeed, God can remember us. Even me, he remembered me. I was here in the service. An apostle Narapel Labato on the other side. The apostle was praying for people on the other side. I was worried that he won't come to my side. He mentioned my name. And then I'm prophesied. He prophesied me. Everything I believed, all that he said was true. I was suffering from the spirit of lust. It's a dangerous spirit. I thank God that after the prayer, I'm completely delivered. And then the second thing. I was suffering from high blood pressure. I am healed from that high blood. Hallelujah. Amen. Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Last week Sunday when I was here, I was worried because of my brother who was admitted at the hospital. Because I didn't know why I was here while I was supposed to be at the hospital. Yes, I'm thanking the power of God. Because when Mama came in, worship with us uplifted my spirit. Uh -huh. Lifted my spirit. And 
When the apostle came, then came to me and prophesied on me. Le ba na ba and, ba wa wa kwa hai la and he said that my brother will be healed. And indeed, when I left here with the anointing water, the big bottle, when I got to the hospital, I found out the doctor said, uh, actually, your, your brother has been discharged yesterday. Which was but, the but yesterday day was uh, yesterday Sunday. Was Sunday. The time he was talking to you. Yes. Glory to Jesus. And Amen. Now, and they said it's only the medication that he was waiting for. And I was thinking that the medication was the anointing water that I was holding. When I gave him the anointing water, he said to me, Oh, Metiana Amunat. When I gave him a medical, he just said to me, This water tastes sweet. I would like to thank God about the, the healing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Greetings to everybody in the name of Jesus. Two weeks back, Umungaba Prophet prayed for me. He said, I'm seeing you being blessed. Indeed, on Friday, I received a call. Are you ready for tomorrow to work? Indeed, yesterday I started working. When I got there, I'm the person who was supposed to be interviewed, but instead they trained me their system. So when it was time to knock off, they sat down with me and said, we have hired you already. And then about a contract, they Monday uniform. They said they will give me a contract on Monday together with the uniform. So I'm thanking God for that. Because where I'm working, there is no black person. I am the only one. They are all white. So Africans uh -huh. Africans Hallelujah. They asked me they asked me if I can speak Africans and I said unto them I can only speak a little and I just told them that I will learn. So you understand Africans Nagar A. They asked me if I understand it. I said yes. So Bara Navarawa, Utre Jukam Hanoi, Kamande Ute Unyagaru Patala Chaldewa to Delia Monday na. And they just said to me, because of that you are hired, do you want us to pay your salary of today and Monday? Karabana Karawa, Letampatala Holieta and Karata Lewa Mudimu for sale. I'm thanking God for that. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I would like to thank God. He has blessed me with a salary increase. I greet you all in the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. I want to thank God. He blessed me with a bursary. I am, I am going to study engineering automotive. I am going to study engineering automotive. Amen. Um, my name is Charles. Kenna Charles. Um, I, my testimony goes like this. I came here two weeks before. Last, last of last week. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. And one of the prophets prophesied to me. And he actually spoke as though I told him. Hallelujah. So it was true, and I saw change after that. And another testimony is that last week I came on Wednesday. And on Wednesday, the man of God declared that on Thursday and Friday, you are going to receive something, an SMS, 
a call if you are looking for a job they are going to hire you and on, on Thursday I got a message that told me that I've passed my interview and I must come for training we are going to, I'm going to work I thank God for that Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. I would like to thank God. He has blessed me with a subcontract of building RDP houses. Amen. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Madumeli nengelebuti lamo pulishware na Jesus Christ. That week when Daddy said we must raise our phones, messages will come, good news will come through our phones. I raised my phone and I received deliverance. The following week I received the message through my phone. I received the money that was being delayed since 2014 Kile and it was deposited on my account. Amen. Kile ka Amen. Amen. Kale ka mokaka Greetings to everybody in the name of Jesus. I'm Martha. I would like to thank God for what he has done for me. It's been three years I've been applying to the SAPS and they were not even calling me for anything. Until 2015 when I joined the Church of Charis. In 2015 they called me without even applying and I did all the procedures. On Friday, they sent other people SMS that they have to start training and I never received it. Until God did a miracle through Sister Zagani. Until God did a miracle through Sister Zagani. Sister Zagani SMS. Uh, she, when she got there, she checked, she found that my names are there, but I never received an SMS. Yesterday, I went there and I found all my things. Tomorrow, I'm starting the training. Hallelujah. Amen. Greetings in the name of Jesus. I'd like to thank God has blessed me with the job. You all in the name of Jesus. I would like to thank God who has blessed me with a car. It's an uh, utility Chevy buggy. It's a Chevrolet buggy utility. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I just want to thank God for what he has done for us. He has blessed us with a very beautiful and big house. I just want to thank Mami and Daddy and the, all the prophets of Charis for their consistent prayers. Amen. Hallelujah. Ah, hambe, ah, hambe, ah, hambe, ah, hambe, ah, hambe, ah, hambe, ah, The person that is next to you, is your faith lifted? Is it really lifted? Can 
anything. Let us raise our hands. We do it again for the second time.
Lutando lungaka Lutando lungaka Lutando lungaka
Hey. Hey. Can you tell the person that is close to you? Hey. Hey. What's about Tala Mavani Tawayaki in Yak?
Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Thank you. I just want to thank God for what God is doing among us. Can you stand up all my visitors? Uh, the visitors come for them. Hallelujah. Amen. I was speaking with one of our pastors here from from the side of Deben. My brother, can you stand up with your wife? Um, so they are with Malele. So Vanale Malele. They are with Malele there. So these people, they are our children. So and I told them they will go on the other side there. And I believe when they are together, there will be so explosion on the side of Deben. Hallelujah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Tell your neighbor, God is here. God is here. Can you show somebody how, how do you know God is here? Eh? Can mm. I show you? Eh? Can I show you? You need to know that when God is in the place, it's different when you are lonely. You, 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 must, you must sense the differences. If I have God here, you must sense God there. Can I say it again? If I have God, you must sense God. If I have God, you must sense God. I have to be a sign you sense of telling you that there is God with you. Gone are the days of thinking about God. You, you, must, you must know he's here. You must, you, you must, you must touch him. Because the Bible says those who are led by the Holy Spirit are sons and daughters of God. It means you cannot be led unless there is somebody in front of you. I don't know if you are hearing me. When we talk about leading, we talk about moving that goes for. It means there has to be somebody in front of you leading you. God, God is here. He's here. I'm sensing him. And the way I'm sensing him, I know there's no way God is not looking down here today. Because he said that this one was in front of me to minister to you. And your life is about to change today. God is here. He's here. He's right here. That's why my friend, do you believe God is here? If, if you know God is there, listen, we can't talk about sin. Because automatically we know, how can I see if God is around? If God visits us and goes, we can do whatever. The reason why we lie sometimes is because he went away. But if he's always there, when we want to lie, we say, yeah, I don't lie. I'm here. You can't do because and God is there. There, there are some talking you can't talk because God is there. Many times we want to be told, hey, don't do this. Hey, don't go there. And, and that's not, God doesn't want to make you like a goat. That's why he just wants to lead you. But our actions are Maradona showing that we are not becoming people. Do you know what the Bible says? We are the people of God. We are the people of God. 
We were not people. Now we are people of God. It means we were animals. If we are ruled by a snake, who are we? So we are something like that. Worse than a snake. Or snake that doesn't even have feet. Because we are not people. We are not people. We are not people. So the Bible says now we have the people of God. God is here and we cannot lie. If God is around, you cannot sin. So now we have the people of God. And if God is around, you cannot sin. So now we have the people of God. I was telling my brother, I said there's something that was happening. And I said, the way I'm sensing God, don't, don't even try to say it's a competition. If God has done it for you, you don't mind about who say what for you. I don't know if you're hearing me. Do you mind about who say what? Do you mind about who's talking about what? That's why Paul said, let's get up from the rudiments of these elements of the world. And we grow to a higher level. And we grow to a higher level. Because when God is there, we sense Him. Now I'm sensing God today. I'm just sensing God. I'm sensing God today. It is here. It is here. And I pray that God will open your eyes. To see. To see. That is here. He's here. He's here. And as He's here, He leads people. 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 He I'm prophesying to be a prophet of yourself. Prophesy yourself. Carry on, 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 carry when you are around, we are perfected. When we see you, Father, we are perfect. When we see your hand, we are not ashamed. Because you are around. We want to know. We want to know. You want to see you. Like Paul who says, we want to know the power of his resurrection. We want to know Jesus. We want to see Jesus. We want to know Jesus. We want to see, we want to see you and the power of resurrections. Carry on. Carry on. Prophesy yourself. Gone are the days they will have fears. Fears of this world. When you are around, I feel you. I feel you, God. You are here. As I feel you, I speak things that will come to pass. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? There are some people now, you are beginning to feel it. You are beginning to feel it. When you feel God, he feels you. When you feel God, he feels you. I'm feeling you. Feel me. Amen. As I'm feeling you. Amen. Thank you. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, you are here. As I feel you, you feel me. Amen. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Yes, 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 yes. You can heal us. Amen. We feel you. Amen. You filled us. Thank you, Father, for your presence. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. 
In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Listen to this. Chilecha. What I want to teach you here is part of what is happening. Here. When you don't sense God, because nobody must teach you there. When you don't sense God, you are vulnerable. So there are some prayers you pray which are useless prayers. So let's open scriptures which share what I want to teach you so you understand. Mark 11. Mark 11. Verse 11, uh, Mark 11, Mark 11, yes. Verse 11. Jesus went into Jerusalem and entered the temple. Yes. And when he looked around, surveying and observing everything, as it was already late, he went out to Bethany together with the 12 apostles. Amen. As you can see. Jesus on, the day, okay, on the day following, when they had come away from Bethany, he was hungry. We have read this several times. And seeing in the distance a fig tree covered with leaves, he went to see if he could find any fruit on it. For in the fig tree, the fruit appears at the same time as the leaves. But when he, he came up to it, he found nothing but leaves for the fig, for the fig season had not yet come. Can you see that? Amen. All right. And he said to it, no one ever again shall eat fruit from you. And his disciples were listening to what he said. Amen. Let's pray. Father, thank you for your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want us to talk about faith like of God. Faith. I remember last year I was teaching you about faith like of Elijah. And I realized it was not enough. But, but this is faith like of God. Here you can see Jesus was moving from Bethany to Jerusalem. Jerusalem. And from Jerusalem to Bethany. Bethany. Bethany was a small village. And it's still there, which is and close to Jerusalem. Jerusalem. I want you to understand why Jesus why Jesus could not even wait to show his faith. Because Jesus was there to restore faith to be like of God. All the people that were chosen by God God will make them to show that kind of faith. But now, Jesus in the process, if I can tell the story that we have read, the Bible says he was in Bethany. So he moved out in Bethany to Jerusalem. And remember he had a mission in Jerusalem. When he reached there, it was the first time Jesus was in Jerusalem. He began to observe what is happening there. But the Bible says everything was closed. If Jesus might have reached in Jerusalem and he found that the shops were open, he could tell Judas Let's buy food. But the Bible says when he turned back from Jerusalem, going back Jerusalem to Bethany, he met a fig tree. Listen to this. Remember, he could not curse 
the owners of the shop because there was a time set for <inaudible> them to wait. He was looking at the time set and he never wanted to fight any time set. But it's only when he went back he found this tree. tree. It was having leaves but there was no fix as I've read you heard but uh, leaves and fruits. On the fig tree, they come out same time. When Jesus was seen that he said, no, this, this is an insult to me. Because he went there with expectations. When he reached there, his expectations dissolved. He reached there. He was like a failure to his disciples. And then he realized that if I don't destroy this, if I don't speak with this figure, these disciples will say, sometimes Jesus failed. Because when he went to the tree, he was having enough expectations. But the Bible says it was not the time of the fix. But when he looked there, he found nothing and he spoke a word when the disciples was hearing. Jesus was teaching us that when you have got faith like of God, you don't speak in secret. There are people that must know what you are saying because you know the one that will produce. I don't know if you are hearing me. So when he reached there, he said, no one will eat from you. And the disciples had it. And the Bible says in the morning when they were coming back when they were coming back the disciples noticed the fig tree has dried to the roots. Jesus says have faith in God. He says have faith in God. Meaning have faith like of God. Because the faith that you must have must be the faith that is it's coming from what God is having. Have faith in God or have faith in the faith that God is having. That's what Jesus said. And Jesus spoke something later. He said, when you have faith like that, you will say to this mountain, be casted there and it shall be done as you say. I was learning that a person who have got faith like of God doesn't pray for anything. He speaks for something he wants and it happens as he says. Stop praying for something. Speak it if you have got faith like of God. If you don't have faith like of God, you will fast for nothing. You will lose weight for zero. So, Jesus said, have faith in God. Speak as we speak. Remember God spoke. Let there be light and light came. He never prayed and said, I'm fasting now. I want to bring light here. When I was learning that, I realized faith like of God can make Make us to create our own way. Faith like of God can make us to create our own will. 
mafatsi ya reina you know there's weak faith there's little faith there's growing faith there's, there's temptation faith there's strong faith there are different kinds of faith but there's faith like of God if you are walking with God you must receive that faith and Jesus was there to restore that faith and usually several times Jesus will try to show people that it's out of faith that they receive when they've got their faith their faith determined to receive whatever they want when you look at yourself whatever you have is because of the ability of your faith your ability of faith determines the way you are but when you look at Jesus from the beginning here you find that he who has got faith of God also defy the visibilities in other words he opposed the challenges the challenge and he stand against it. And he has got power to oppose so, any man challenge. Man challenge. He can say no. It won't happen to me and it won't happen. Like what happened to Jesus. He, he said yes. yes. No one will eat from you. And it happened exactly as you said. He defied any visibility. When Jesus was going closer to the he defy the visibilities. The, the tree had green leaves. But he spoke, he spoke a word and said, no one will eat from you. Same night and he dried up. There are many visibilities that are happening around you and it's affecting your faith. And many of you, your faith has been affected for years and you are no longer saying something tangible. Today, as you are hearing, when you say something we need to see it today because you are created to speak something that when you speak it people must hear it and when they hear it they must see it and you are not supposed to be distracted by the visibilities I don't know if you are hearing me that's my friend what is it that is visible that is bringing a challenge in your life listen to this it was a curse on that tree, if Jesus spoke it and said, you won't just give these leaves. It's better you die sometime. Because if you are around here, you are showing this side. And you are, you are not showing on the other side. Before Jesus, you are like you are cursed. It's better you die sometime. So if you have faith like God, this side and this side, as you are showing yourself, the leaves here and the fruit also must be visible. There are some people who are here today that are trusting God with the fruits but they've got leaves. They appear in the church. They come and worship but there's no fruit of showing that they've been coming to church. I'm here to tell you that today the fruits will come out. As Jesus is coming, the fruit is coming out. I'm here to tell you that you are like that fig tree. But when Jesus comes there, he won't curse you. The fruits will come out from you sometime. Because when the fruits come out, it means when you've got faith like of God, you've got something that you produce which is required on that time. We have got Christians here. There are things you have which are no longer needed. 
said he sat toka haling ana joale mara so long how na to melo yeso na le msimu ona le die nya che di nya ke ha ko kana ko yona ye there are some people who are here today that god is raising you that god is raising you papa ba pagamisao that when you move out you move with the time and the season that god has placed because god wants to prove a point when you go that thing you produce what is required in that time and you are not failing when you reach a place you don't show leaves it also shows fruit and people look at you they begin to praise god and rejoice by what you are producing because you are not just showing your talents but there are things also which are needed that you are producing it's when you have got faith like of god a person of faith of like of god does not disappoint and does not get disappointed because he knows there's a set time that god has set before him and when he reaches there he produce what is required i prophesy you this year you are going to produce something that will shock your neighbor when you say it, they will hear it but when you have it they will give a testimony about you there's no time now that you give testimony about yourself it's the right time that people must talk of you not to talk of yourself this is the right time of producing what is required on that time stop worrying about your situation acquire faith like of god when you've got faith like of god you can produce and you will never fail you know from the beginning of the bible when god visited a man he wanted to bring that faith if you can read about abraham you find that he had faith and the faith is to us like of God. When God spoke with him and said, Abraham, though Sarah's womb is dead, but I want to make you like, I want to make Sarah like a bride so that she give birth. So don't talk like them. Speak like the way I teach you. You look at me and you speak what I say the sand will be like my children the stars will be like my children and they are hearing you when they are hearing you they are laughing at you when they are laughing at you Sarah is becoming a pregnant there are some people today you are afraid even to talk your plans because you know very well you will fail hey, speak them out because when you speak them out your enemies must hear that and somebody must hear it somebody must praise your God when they see the manifestations of what you are talking I don't know if you are hearing me I have decided to tell you that God of Charis want to raise people here as he is raising people they will speak things and they will testify of those things God will put a mind in them and because of faith in, the, in God faith like of God they will produce whatever they say can I prophesy you you are the one I'm talking about I say you are the one I'm talking about we need Christians who are saying I'm not looking in my pocket I'm looking in the ability of my father God that I can buy a car that does not suit my pocket because I speak it they hear it and I drive it I don't know if you are hearing me that's also my friend I want to speak it I want them to hear it but I drive it the problem is you are afraid to talk you are afraid to talk there are people who respond and try to build some walls of themselves because they saw some people who built their own houses if you begin to say I will drive it 
Are you hearing me? They will look at you and laugh at you. But God will say, yes, my child is having faith like mine. And you have got faith like mine. I will do it for my glory. Let them laugh and I will be bringing it. Can I prophesy you? This year is your year of living a life of your desire. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Open another spur. I want to tell you something. The Bible says Elijah also. There was no rain. And the Bible says he went on top of the mountain. And he cast his head on top of his, I mean, between his thighs. In other words, he didn't want to see the visibilities. He had faith of understanding that whatever he said, it shall come to pass. And the Bible says his head was inside his thighs. So, the, the question is, where was his eyes? It means he was facing down. And he began to say, guys, go. Check the clouds. Because the rain is coming. And guys come laughing. The prophet sometimes he lied. <laughs> I heard him. This is not possible. He came back and said, I see nothing. And he said, go back again. He never wanted to see. Because the visibilities could affect the faith of the prophet. And the prophet also said, I don't mind about what other people are saying. Because the structure that brings the rain the clouds must be there. There have to be a foul weather. There have to be a wind for the rain to come. But I cannot wait. I speak the word. I say it and say the rain is coming. When he said that, gas came for the second, seven times. He said, you know, I saw a small cloud. You don't know what what what, what guys were saying. He was saying, Prophet, why are we wasting time? I'm also tired of hearing your funny stories. The cloud that I saw cannot even bring rain. We need to go home. And he said, hey, go and tell the king that before you read to Jezreel, the rain will be catching. You. you know, the problem was we don't believe in what we say. But if we say something that we know that is coming as we are expecting, we end up sometimes hiding it to our enemies and we say it in a wrong way. But we need to reach a level where we say it and believe it and we will see it. I mean, the prophet Elisha, he began to hear the rain and the rain began to fall and he fall in an amazing way. I don't know if you're hearing me. I'm here to tell you, there are some people who are here today that when the rain is coming today, the rain, because there's no sign of any rain now, the rain of the blessing, the rain of a house, the rain of business, when it's coming here, it will shock you because there is no sign. There is no visibility of anything. I, I, I don't know if you are hearing me. That's why I say, my friend, is there any sign that you are a millionaire? Is there any sign that you are blessed? Is there any sign that you are, you are moving forward? That's why I'm here to tell you. God say I must prophesy you. You are here today. Though there is no sign, something is about to happen. I said something is about to happen. When Elijah, when the rain came, the Bible says the power of God came upon him. He could not wait for that stupid chaos. 
He ran in front ah, of a wagon. Stupid girls was hiding in the mountain. Those who cannot believe what you say, they must hide. You must run your race and reach your destiny. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what I say, hey, my friend, there are many things in front of me, but I've got faith like of God. And I'm not afraid of the visibilities. I'm not afraid of the occurrences. I'm not afraid of the appearances. I'm not afraid of what devil is doing. I can see where I'm going. I'm, I'm closer to where I'm going. As when I'm saying something here, I take it in the name of Jesus. I take it in the name of Jesus. As I say something here today, I'll be taking it in the name of Jesus. Do you know that something happened to Moses? There's something happened to Moses. And Moses, when there was a dry place, everybody was thirsty. And God said, Moses, these people are grumbling, but don't look on me. Speak with the rock. Can you speak with the rock? Here? So that the rock will bring out what everybody was watching. And Moses said, Hey, the rock. <laughs> If I fail here, they will say I'm crazy. They were hearing. They were ready for water. And he looked at the rock and said, Sorry, the rock, that one above. I believe him. He said, I must speak with you. Bring out water. And the Bible says the water Bible came out gushing out. There are some people who are here today. God wants you to speak with ATM. So that ATM will bring out the. You people, you are just wasting your time. You must speak something and it shall come to pass. Moses spoke with the rock in the desert. You know, whoever believes God, God will make him to have faith like of him. I don't know if you are hearing me. I don't know if you are hearing me. Can I tell you something? There are some people now here that God said, I must teach them. And I will speak slowly. If you are in the position of speaking things to happen, don't ever think after you have spoken, everything will be fine. You will see the nightmare after you speak it. But that nightmare are the last kicks. Can I tell you again? When you are closer to where you are going, because a Christian travels by his ways, the moment you say something, and you say, I'm sensing healing. That's where you will hear the worst pain. When you are saying money is coming, you will be even lacking food. When you say, I'm praying for increase, you will be surprised you are in, in overdraft. So the moment you say, the war comes. But that war is telling you you have overcome. I don't know if you are hearing me. I said that war is telling you that you have received. There, there are some people here. I had something here. I had one pastor here. There's a pastor that has been praying for anointing. But there's something he's hearing on his head. Can you just come here? What is the pastor? Is he this one? Yes, come. You always hear something here. Amen. Eh? Amen. Because God wants to anoint this man. He was 
pray for anointing, but he doesn't know that this is anointing. And this makes him not to be filled with the anointing. It means the faith was not like of God, it was limited. Because many of us, we have already things that have been deposited on us. But because of the challenges we are facing, we end up being afraid of not understanding that God has supplied. I don't know if you are hearing me. There is something that God is doing in the supernatural. There is something that I'm hearing that what you have been speaking that you will see this year is beginning to happen this, this week. And God of mercy is honoring you right now. You know, when you say it, you end up doubting because of the pressures and the temptations you are facing. But God says to me, it's over today. I say, it's over. I, I see victory. I see success. I see your life. I see you. What Working on top Lisa of visibilities. Going to where you are called. I don't know if you are hearing me. I see what Lisa you are Lisa saying. Lisa coming to Lisa pass in your Lisa life. Lisa if you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Say hey. I'm walking on top. Of the stumbling blocks. That were blocking me. And I'm going towards my victory. And I'm taking what belongs to me. Is what I've been talking. In front of my enemies. Listen. The reason why you've got enemies. They heard you talking. So don't stop talking. Don't stop talking. When you talk, they say you are proud. Carry on being proud before God. Carry on enjoying your God. Speak the ways. Let them hear. Take what you are saying. Let them see what you are saying. I need Christians of Charis to buy a car by faith like of God. I need Christians of Charis to have houses by faith like of God. I need Christians of Charis to receive their hearts desires by faith like of God. Somebody say, where is your God? This year, no one will ask you. They will know your God. I said, they will know your God. Shake someone say, hey, you, you will know my God. You will know my God. I've got faith like of God. Listen, a person of God, faith like of God, when he appears, God appears. Are you hearing me? Because there's no difference between you and God. When you just appear, God appears. There's some things that God is about to do now. There are some people who will never look at you on your eyes. They will confess. Why? Because they were behind you. They will try to stop you. They will try to fight you. They will try to block you. But today, you will run a race of victory. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say, I've got faith like of God. I've got faith like of God. When I say something, I receive it. When I say something, they hear it, but I receive it. Are you ready to say something? Are you ready to say something? Stand up and say something. 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 Amen. Come, my brother, come. Look at my brother. Look at my brother. He never believed. Listen. Leave him, leave him, leave him, leave him. 
He never believed his anointed. And always he's hearing something here. here. In his head here. And this is a sign that there's an oil on top of his head. Look at his eyes now. Look at his eyes there. And who came with him? Come, my brother. Come. You came with the yeah. You came with the taxi. Yeah. From where? From Venda. You're yeah, from Zanin. Venda. Yeah. Where? I'm from Venda. You came from Zanin. From Zanin. You're yeah. from Venda where? Vuan. Vuan. Mm. You're a pastor too. I'm assistant pastor. Of who? Of Muliwa. Muliwa. Mm. This man, I'm still when I look at him even now. I feel what he's feeling. Mm. And it's serious. And it's very serious. Bring him here. I'm feeling it more. Bring him here. Father, thank you. For bringing this man here. Amen. Where is that pastor? Come. Where is your wife, sir? Devil want to kill your wife, sir. Satano, do I'm from this lady, she's not well. Ah, uh, but right. Did you see her? Now? You can see her. Yes. Huh? Yes. They want to kill this lady. Satana do do abulai. There are some people who are saying what you are saying there is not true. When I was with Leona, but when I was with Leona, I was with Leona. You hear what I'm trying to say? Yes. I compa. They say you are talking nonsense. I compas to see. And you say you are called. Where is your name? Now they have attacked your wife. Can you see what your wife is doing? <laughs> huh? I'm speaking with you. Yes. Can you see what your wife is doing? Yes. Can you see? So they possess it. So that you must never look one on one. Ah. Yeah? Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. Shh. Shh. Yes. There's always conflict in your house. Yeah? Yes, yes. They put a spirit in this thing. Yeah, I know. You know your conflict. But, but you don't know the spirit of conflict. They are free. Can you just say, speak something that you want to see? Speak something you want to see. Say, it. say it. I can't hear you. I can't even hear. I can't hear you. Oh, Jesus. Who are we, Lord, before you, our God? You chose us to stand in your presence. We see your love every day of our lives. Where we come to your presence. We 
Okay, can we sing this song? Can we sing the song? We see your love all the time when we come to your presence. Yes, we see.
you can remember the pastor that was feeling this. You remember, you remember his friend. The love of God is so enough to us. For us. When we come together, God do things that we have never seen for us, for you, for you, for you. I mean, because of the blood of Jesus. Yes, we see your love. the song maybe we see let's sing it enjoy it from above. It's not from here. Amen. Listen. Listen. I want you Later. to hear when it's play, played. Listen to the even is that they don't play again and <inaudible> produce. <inaudible> it's, it's something like this but <inaudible> the sound <inaudible> that, just play it. Just play it. Listen to the sound. Sing it in your heart. Follow Carry on. 
a touch today of the anointing from above. There's a great anointing you are going to receive right now. I don't want anybody. That person who's running out is demonic right now. There are people who are demonic who are running out. The angels are here. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. And the power of God will touch you when you are singing. Play Andres. Play. Sing the song in your heart. Come here. There's a great move of the Holy Spirit. Sing louder with the top of your voice. God is touching you. We see. is coming. Please usher us. Lift up your hands. Receive that touch. Receive that touch now. I will count three. One. Somebody's receiving something. Two.
take that job. Take, take. Rapa, pa, 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 saka, ta, 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 ta. Eh, ta, 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 eh, ta, 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 Watch, 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 watch. There's a, there, God is touching someone. Hey, God is delivering someone. God is raising someone. God is lifting someone. I see your business. I see your victory. I see your life. I see it. I see it. Someone is getting a job, right? Can you take your take your job, take your job, take your business. Receive that touch. Receive that touch for healing. My God, my God, my God. There is anointing upon your life. There is anointing in your career. There is anointing. God is touching you. They are 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 touching you. Hey. Oh my God, my God, my God. Can you receive that touch? Receive that touch. Receive that touch. Receive that touch. Receive the touch. Touch, 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 touch. Touch of your life. Touch for, for prosperity. Touch for healing. Touch for new life. My God. There are still many. There are still many coming. Pastors, receive your anointing. Anointing. You are here for anointing. Take your anointing. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Phew. 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 We see your love, Lord. We see your love here. We see the grace. We see your love. Wave your hand and say, I'm receiving your touch, Lord. Say, I'm receiving your touch. Touch, touch, Lord. Touch me. Touch me for healing. Touch me for success. Touch me for my destiny. Touch me to live my life. Touch me to go to where I belong. Touch me to live the life I want. Touch me to live the life of my dreams. Touch me. I'm diabetic. Touch me. I'm sugar diabetic. Touch me. I've got cancer, touch me, touch me. I've got HIV, touch me, touch. Yes. All right. Hey. Hey.
on the ladies there who have got children. Can you wave your hands there? Ladies who have got children there. Oh, Asha's run there. I don't know what will happen to them. Because many, they don't know what to support. They don't even have money to support their children. And God is touching them. Asha's run there. Others, they don't even have money to support their children. Others, they've got problems. Serious problems. Run there, run there, run there, run there. As you are waving your hand, God is touching you. God is supporting you. God is opening a way for you. God is giving you victory. Victory is your portion. Victory is your life. Oh my God. Look, well, I mean, look four ushers on one lady. She's fighting. My God. Makanisa, what kind of a person are you? Every day she's coming to Makananis. I put poverty on top of them now every day. She's coming here. People are laughing at her because there is nothing. Poverty is galore. The house is just standing. It will never be finished. I can rather die. Okay. Not when I'm still alive. Oh, fine. Come to this one here. Sorry, Garozipa. Come here. Yeah, demons, they don't have respect. So what are you doing there? Go <laughs> huh? Huh? You are a mother. So you can hear that. Yeah. You are a mother? Yes. Why yes. do you call yourself a mother? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Why do you call yourself a mother? Why we picture Mutsu? Why Look at yourself. Sure. <laughs> You can't even believe. It's, it's when, like when you want to marry by color. You, 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 you take like a lady like this. You are in honeymoon in Cape Town. In, in, in Cape Point. In Cape, in Cape Point. Point. Cape Point there. And she's not delivered. And she's not delivered when you are there, when you are praying. You are too. She began to do like this. Uh, uh, I'm your mother. You, you are going to run away. You, you, you will jump from the room. The room there, you enter sea. Look, look, look at that demon. Say, but they are living the people of God. Amen. I said they are living you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say I'm free. I am free. You, you. This is a Sangoma spirit, eh? This one. Uh, it's a Sangoma spirit. Give my own sango. Yeah. I can't hear that. What she say? What I say? I can't hear you. Speak louder. Oh, this another one. This is Sangoma spirit too. Give my wife Sangoma. So if they've wished you or blocking your destiny, I want to tell you that they are leaving you right now. If you are planning, and your plans are failing. If you plan and your plan fails. And I plan the plan I want you to say, go. I want to tell you, go and plan again. You, you will never fail again. I'm telling you. I say you will never fail again. Amen. Congratulations. God bless you. I see a blood and, and 
the blood pastry entered him. And it's like they will shoot him now. They will kill him. The way I'm seeing it. These are the people, their enemies around him. Can you just come here? I want to pray for you. The brother that was shot. And for no reason. He doesn't even know. It's like to me, when I'm looking at it, it's like I I jack him. The way I'm seeing it. It's like I jack him. So it's like they will kill you. They shot you. Uh, they shot you where? They shot me here at the back past two times. And then, uh, last night when I was at work in Edenville, I visited another pastor there. He's from Nigeria. He told me the same thing. He, he told said, you the same thing? Yes. Uh, yesterday, last night. Yesterday. Yes, pastor. There is a true prophet. He's telling you what they want to do on you. But he was supposed to have delivered you. Come on, come on. Out. 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 Leave him. As you can see him, the way he is, you will see that this is spirit, bad spirit, uh, like a curse. They want to kill him. They want to kill him. But God is saving him. Amen. He's free, yeah? My brother, nothing will happen to you. Uh, I'm t I promise you. He said they are going to kill me. He said what? He said they are going to kill me. He's got the pictures of TB Joshua. His church is in the interval yesterday. He said they are going to kill me. I don't know why. I didn't do anything. Listen. I didn't do anything. Listen, my brother. That prophet is a true prophet, as I said. The, he have got a picture of TB Joshua. Fear nothing because of the picture. Listen to me as I'm telling you. You are free. Nothing will happen to you. If you go to him, he will not be there. He If you go to him tomorrow, he will tell you that he's no longer seeing those people. Are you hearing me? He will say he's no longer seeing those. He was supposed to have delivered you and cast this spirit because it's a spirit. It's not them. It's the wrong spirit around you. God bless you. I saw one, two, three, four. There are four people who died last year in your family. In your family. But it's like they want to kill another one on March. There's someone who's very sick in your family. They say it's HIV. And these people are dying. HIV. 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 It's not HIV. Please run, run forward. I want to, we need to stop. We need to stop this thing. It's not good for you. You have been burying people of HIV. Come. Where is the person? Where is the... Come, come, my sister, come, yeah. I want to verify before God, because God told me there are four people who died. More than four. Eh? More than four. Men. I'm seeing four people, I mean last year, of your family. Yes, yes. Your close people, four. Yes. yes. Not these cousins. Yes, yes. Eh? Yes, yes. Eh? Yes, yes. Now they want to kill another one. You are now going to go like your mom. I want to assure you, my sister. Even you, you are dreaming dead people. You are now going to talk to your son. I want to tell you, you won't dream those things again. There is no more funeral in your family. Thank. In Jesus' name, you are free. There is a problem in your hand, sister. There is a problem. Yes. There's a problem in your hand. God wants to honor you. Come forward. Come forward. My sister, if I don't pray for you, yes. eh? misfortune will follow you. Because you people here from the beginning, yes. where is your husband? 
I'm I divorced. I'm You're with divorced. my fiance. Yes. Huh? I'm with my fiance now. You're with your fiance. Yes. Fiance. Your fiance, when is going to marry you? Because <laughs> from the beginning, you people of your family, <laughs> yes. you get partners very fast. Yes. But you are disappointed in a painful way. Yes. Yes. I can hear you. Yes, it's true, Pastor. Huh? Yes, it's true. So your fiance also uh, call him. Because I'm afraid for him also. Yes. Fancy. Come here, Fancy. <laughs> My brother, I've got only one question. When are you going to marry this lady? As, as soon as I'm fine, uh, having a financial breakthrough. Are you not working? I, I am. Huh? I am. You are working? Yes. Financial breakthrough, you mean? Financial breakthrough, le raure. Business. Business and salary. Huh? Business and salary. And salary. Yes. Business and salary. I, that's what I'm talking about, my sister. Yes. This man is funny, waiting for financial breakthrough. That's why I made you breakthrough at Chalet. You must wait for his financial breakthrough. To get married. And you don't know when this financial breakthrough is coming. Yes, deliver us men of God. Deliver us men of God. This is a good man. But because of the spirit in your family, this man will have this reason that reason. Even when now you can you can ask him when he gets money, he doesn't know what he has done with it. Yes, it's, it's true. true. Huh? It's true. It's true. Uh, because of the same spirit. Yes. So, because you have come here to Charis. God of Charis God of Charis now is working now. Amen. Amen. There was a problem my brother had concerning his girlfriend. It is true. Huh? It is true. Uh, he must forget this lady won't do that. Amen. You hear me? Amen. This lady won't do that. The lady, this lady is just having attacks in the family. And these attacks are broken now. Let me stretch my hand to you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm stretching my hand to you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm stretching my hand to you. Thank you, Lord. Stretch yours to me. Thank you. I'm delivering you. Deliver me to you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, man of God. In Thank Jesus' you. name. Thank you. It's not only you who's free now. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes, yes. I'm seeing everybody in your family, they are free. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, come to me, uh, because I'm counting here before April. This man will be having money. Money to say you want to marry. Thank you, man of God. Yes. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you too. Don't hold her like this. <laughs> Remember, you are not yet married. Did I say they are married? I said before. Before what? Uh, and now you call yourself fancy. There's nothing. You, did you read the Bible? You find fancy, or fancy, or fancy. It's a way of you know of modernizing. Sin. Keep watching, Charis.